So I read the introduction and what um, I guess struck me most is in the preface, I came into this school year expecting as well as fearing a lot, a lot of everything. I guess because it's a new start so I can have a completely new experience. I suppose I expect the most from myself as a student, a friend, and part of the community. I expect to do as well as I can in every class every day. I expect myself not to become discouraged and if I don't do as well as I wanted to do on a test or anything else. I expect my fellow students to be as supportive of the rest of the class as I am to them. I want to always feel comfortable speaking in class. I expect my teachers to always listen to every student as an equal and always to be fair. These are the words of a ninth grade student describing her expectations at the beginning of a new year in a new school. We must never forget the students' voices as we, the professional educators, plan for their academic success. This book is dedicated to all students who entrust their daily lives to their teachers. That last line, entrust their daily lives to their teachers. I mean, in, in this day and age where we're having to lock our doors and be more on alert than ever because, you know, we have to create a safe environment where students feel comfortable to learn. Um, but as a teacher that's, you know, I'm, this is my sixth year teaching. Um, but every year there's this nervous excitement before I start the year and we should continue to learn. We should continue to, ve to develop in our domains and in our teaching habits and in our standards. If we're teaching the same thing the same way every year, are we truly effective? Um, you know, and it says, she says, expect the most of myself as a student. We as teachers should also be students every single day to protect, pro, uh, to perfect our craft. And it is a craft and it's ever evolving and ever, ever changing. Um, you know, just because you pass an exam and are certified to teach a subject, mean, doesn't mean that you stop learning about that subject. And I believe that you work through the domains. You get to know your students, you get to know your subject, you're, you're planning, you're creating your classroom environment. Um, all of those things come together to make a teacher. And it's, it's an ever evolving and ever changing organic recipe. It's, it's not locked in. You always have to grow. You always have to learn. You always have to challenge yourself just as much as you're challenging your students, I feel. Um, because if you're doing the same thing the same way every year, you know, um, I saw in Indonesia's video, the math, they've changed from I do, you do, or I do, we do, you do, to now there's different knowledge, skills, assessments, and things. That's an ever-evolving, ever-changing craft. Um, you know, in art, there's new techniques that are coming out, you know, and not everyone is going to have, yes, you're gonna have your rubric that's gonna tell your students what you need, but as I tell my students, no brain is the same. Everyone's fine motor control is different. So I don't expect 25 of the same looking drawing. I expect for a drawing to hit the rubric that I've asked, but I don't expect one single drawing to do the same um, or look the same or have the same qualities or use the exact same colors or have the exact same values into it. Um, because each and every one of us are unique and we all have those unique abilities, you know? And the same thing, if a student's writing a paper, I don't wanna see the same words over and over and over again. I know, you know, as a, a person who loves to read and you're reading and the author just uses the same words, it's like get a thesaurus, change it up a bit. Um, this is what we're doing as teachers. We have to be ever evolving in our craft. Um, and if we're in leadership, we should be encouraging, you know, teachers to evolve and learn more and do more. Um, I find that, you know, lead by doing and showing instead of this do as I say model. Um, you know, 
I started the year teaching art. Um, the Wednesday before school started, they're like, hey, we need you over in special education. So I had an entire summer to plan and prepare for art. And now I'm still planning and preparing for art. However, I'm also planning and preparing for these special education students. Um, and I guess that's why, if you think about it, why we hate sub plans so much, because in the reading, it says, how do you explain what a teacher does? How do you explain that? And when we have to write sub plans and we have to stop, and we have to think about every little single thing behind the actions that we're doing and why we're doing them, it's frustrating because there's so much that we do that we do automatically. And when we have to stop and write that down, it's difficult and it's frustrating for us. Um, because we just, we know what we're doing. We know, and it can flow easily. We've got our lesson plan. It's our outline of our lesson. We're going to it. We've got our standard that we're gonna hit. We're gonna assess that. But when you have to stop and write that lesson plan, and I don't know if I'm going to be in special ed all year or if I'm gonna get to go back to art, I'm kind of in limbo at the moment. So I'm planning, lesson planning, and creating for art, but I'm also lesson planning and creating for English, science, math, reading, civics, life skills. Um, there's other classes that are in my thing. I'm like throwing blank right now, but I have like 14 different grade books set up for my special education class on top of the seven different grade books I have for my art class and I'm juggling both right now and it's so difficult but again it goes back to those frameworks of teaching and planning and I'm having to plan for both so my brain is stretched to the max right now but that's okay because I feel it's only growing me as an individual, it's growing me as a teacher, and it's also growing me as a leader to be able to have this flexibility and have a foot in both worlds and, you know, work to be as successful as I can at both.